Come on, man. Just land this helicopter. I don't want to jump. I'm not ready. You'll be fine. This is what you train for. I know, but it's too scary. Look how high up it is. Oh, my gosh. Uh. Uh. Holy oh. shit. I'm on fire. The helicopter's oh. going down. Oh. You better jump, kid. <laughs> Trick works every time. Hey, what's going on? It's Richard, just Chewy Sif here, and welcome back to another mod review. This is the armor movement mod, and what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you guys all of the new things that this mod adds to Minecraft, as well as all of the crafting recipes on how to create them. So the first thing we're going to take a look at today is the glider, and the glider is created using a leather tunic, string, sticks, and paper, and it's going to give you this glider here. Um, now, all of this stuff is armor. Well, actually, I take that back, except for the grappling hook, but I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, but all of this stuff you will actually be able to wear. And within this mod, the default sort of hotkey for activating a lot of these new special features that are going to be given to you by these special pieces of armor is the F button. So what I'm going to do here is show you guys this glider. And as I go into the air and hold F, I can actually glide. Um, and I glided forward and then I came back a little bit so it wasn't too far away. But what's actually cool about the glider is that you don't need to jump off a high height like this. You can actually jump just normal and it will sort of glide you uh, about five or six blocks. You can actually sort of do really fast speed running and jumping um, it's gonna carry you quite a far distance which is pretty cool so that is the glider uh, obviously really good for jumping off of high things and whatnot but um, let's move on to the next thing so the next thing is going to be the life vest and the life vest is created with yellow wool in a pattern like this and it's pretty straightforward all this does is allows you not to sink in water uh, as you can see here let's go to somewhere a little bit deeper um, so it's going to continue to keep bobbing me up and down. I'm not going to be able to go under the surface of the water. So um, if you hate swimming like myself, that might be kind of a cool addition uh, if, that's, if this is a mod that you're interested in checking out. Now the next thing, this is the parachute. And this is what I actually used when I got kicked out of the helicopter at the beginning of the video by Pilot Pig. He's a jerk. But anyways, uh, to create this, you're going to use a leather tunic and you're going to attach um, string to the leather. So it kind of looks like a parachute shape almost. And uh, the same deal as the glider with this one, you're going to hold F in order to use it, except you won't glide, you'll just sort of float down to the ground. Now what's really cool about the parachute as well is that you don't take any fall damage, which I really, really like. I've seen some mods that sort of limit your falling speed, but they, you still take fall damage, which is kind of annoying. So as I jump here, I'm going to hold F and just slowly float to the ground, uh, which is pretty cool. Alright, so let's take that off. And the next thing I'm going to show you guys is the Heelys. And to create these, you're going to take leather boots, string, iron ingots, and ender pearls, and it's basically going to be like shoes with wheels on them. So um, all this is going to do essentially is increase your speed. So as I'm sprinting, let's go ahead and sprint this way. As I'm sprinting, let's sprint. Sprint! I'm going to hold F, <laughs> and it's going to allow me to run a little bit faster than a normal sprint. This is normal sprinting. This is sprinting with Heelys on. So you're kind of skating, I guess. Um, so there you go. That is Heelys. Uh, let's put these away. And the next thing is ice skates. The ice skates are very, very simple to make. They're probably one of the easiest designs in terms of crafting within this entire mod. And you're going to take leather boots and put iron ingots on the bottom. That's going to give you ice skates. Now, the upside to ice skates is that when you're on ice, you go super fast. The downside is it's very hard to turn. You don't even have to press the F button for this. All you got to do is run across the ice, and you'll start to pick up speed and go really fast uh, to the point where you really can't control yourself. Now, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to start from this corner here, and I'm going to try and curve around and get to that corner over there. And you'll see it's going to be very difficult. So here we go. Let's try and make our way around. And I actually hit the, hit the bank before I could get around over to here. So turning is quite hard. That's sort of the downside of the ice skates. Um, as you can see, the turns are very arced. Um, even if I, I look back sort of on my pattern here of the little what is that, block chunks that come up when you hit the blocks. Uh, it's very arced. And uh, so it is hard to turn with the ice skates on, but that's the ice skates. And of course, if you're playing in a snow world or something, that might be beneficial for you in terms of getting across large sheets of ice. Uh, the next thing, this is the only thing in this mod that is not armor, is the grappling hook. And this is very easy to use. It's very easy to create. You just take string, a stick, and three iron ingots. And it's going to give you the grappling hook. Now, what this allows you to do is sort of place it uh, wherever your cursor is. You can kind of right-click with it, and it's going to sort of pull you closer uh, to your desired destination so it's not going to be exact but it will get you a little bit closer so uh, as you can see here I'm gonna actually point my grappling hook all the way at the top and it's only gonna bring me about halfway up 
Um, so that's the grappling hook, but it's definitely good for, you know, getting across the ground very quick in case you're trying to get away from a creeper or something, or you just want to explore. Whatever you so choose. Uh, and it does have a durability bar as well. I forgot to tell you that, but... Uh, all right, the next thing is flippers and flippers are created using two sticks and leather in a pattern like this and Flippers will allow you to swim extremely fast. These are actually really cool. So once you put the flippers on you can go in the water and uh, You can actually swim um, Very 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 fast or a lot faster than than normal um, I'm actually sort of bobbing on top of the water here, but it's it's quite a bit faster than I'll compare it here for you guys it's quite a bit faster than just the normal bobbing like this. So let's go ahead and throw these on again. As you can see, you can swim underwater quite a bit faster too. So I don't know. I, I really like this mod because I definitely hate uh, I hate swimming underwater because it just takes forever. Uh, <laughs> season 4 of the Minecraft Files, I did that a lot and it was really annoying. But there you guys go. Those are flippers. Uh, the next thing is, what are these? Oh, spring boots. Spring boots. These are created with a piston and leather boots. And what these allow you to do is jump higher. A little bit spring to your step. And as you can see, you kind of float. And another cool thing about this one is you don't take fall damage either. So um, if you hold down the space bar as you're jumping, you actually go a bit higher. You almost kind of float up a little bit. Uh, here, I'll show you guys this. <laughs> How ridiculous this is. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, so you can jump really high. Like, what is this here? One, two, three, four, five blocks, it seems. Yep, you can jump up to five blocks high. Uh, very, very useful. And it comes with a nice little springy um, sound effect, too. It actually looks like you're literally standing on a piston with your boots. That's really cool. I like that. All right, uh, let's take these bad boys off. And we'll move on to the next thing, which are, let me take a look here. Uh, spring boots. Oh, we came across. Okay, so we're going to go up. This is the helicopter hat. I like this guy. It's kind of like a little beanie. Uh, you take a stick, iron ingots, and a leather cap to create this. And what this is going to allow you to do is float. So I'll show this to you guys right here. Uh, all you do is you hold space bar for this one, and you can actually float up. Now, the minute you let go of space bar, uh, it will stop. But it will even sort of stop your fall. You can kind of use it to sort of bounce up and down. Um, you can really go as high as you want. Like if I want to go over here, you can go pretty much anywhere. So this is the helicopter hat. I wish I came with like a cool little sound effect or something. But uh, you don't take fall damage with this either, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, the next thing, and this is actually one of my favorite things in this mod, is the um, mountain boots. These are very easy to craft, and they're very, very useful. Uh, so you take leather boots and iron ingots like this, and it's going to give you these mountain boots. And when you put on these mountain boots, you're going to really be able to climb up pretty much any surface, uh, no matter how high the height. So if I want to scale this wall right here, all I have to do is walk up to the wall and start just walking up it. And literally that's all I'm doing is my shoes are are, um, are basically, you know, just sticking themselves into this wall. Now, as you saw there, you do take fall damage, so be careful on your way down. Um, but uh, you can pretty much, if you're, you know, climbing up a mountain or something, let me try and find a good spot where this would be very useful in terms of not just climbing up a... Uh, a uh, you know s specific structure like this, but actually a part like this where you have two um, two high blocks and you can't jump over that. You actually just run up here, go up there, traverse the entire wall um, without even having to press the space bar once, which is I think is really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and take these guys off, and we're gonna move on to the next thing. We only have a few more, and let me see which one it is. I forget. Oh yes, the uh, the jetpack. Actually, I'm going to save this one for later. Uh, this one we'll, we'll do last. Let's go ahead and do the scuba helmet first. So this is the scuba helmet. Um, you, you take leather, put a glass pane in the middle, and once again, pretty self-explanatory, much like the life vest, this is going to allow you to breathe underwater and not even worry about uh, your bubbles pretty much like at all. I, I think I sat under here for a minute or so earlier, and I didn't really even see any bubbles go down. So uh, you can stay underwater for a long time, do your buildings or whatever. Uh, so there you go. That is the scuba helmet. And now we will go to the very last thing, which is the jetpack. And this is actually the only piece of armor within this mod that uses another uh, another previously built um, piece of armor. So this actually uses the glider. So you do have to create a glider first. Then you take blaze rods and iron ingots in a pattern like this, and it's going to give you the jetpack. The jetpack is fun because, well, it's a freaking jetpack, all right? Uh, all you got to do for this is hold the space bar, 
It's kind of like creative mode flying almost, um, although you don't use shift to get down. So uh, all you got to do is just jump and hold the space bar and you can pretty much go wherever you want to go. Um, now this isn't all too, I guess, different from the helicopter hat. I think the helicopter hat is pretty much the same, although I do believe that this has a much higher thrust velocity upwards than the helicopter hat does. Like You can really start to take off and go up. So. There you guys go. That is the uh, armor movement mod. Armor movement mod. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below. And um, I'm going to try to do some more mod reviews for you guys. I know I haven't done any in quite a while, but um, I want to get back into doing more mod reviews. So if you like this video, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe. Check out my channel. Check out my videos. And uh, I will see you guys in the next mod review. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Peace.